Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, another three minute clinic. This time we're looking at the Lago 1. I always had trouble with this. It's a 2.7, so we're going to look at it with a 2.0 BT7M. We're going to look at it with the solid shot instead of the explosive one, so we got to kind of figure out how to place those shots at 300 meters. So let's take a look. Now, let's see. From the front, it's there's pretty good spots you can go at it from. And it's funny, I was looking at it, and I'm thinking, how did I have so much trouble with this? But I did, and here's why. There's a flat place. See how that's flat? You can go there easy. No problem. Virtually anything can get through that flat plate there on the tank right. So if you're looking at the turret, aim for the left side of the turret. That'll get the gunner for you, almost for sure. And then any curved surface, there's always going to be a part that is penable. So if you go dead center, basically, up and down, if you take the center section of that turret, you can get right through that pretty easily too. So that's something. Now here, uh, transmission. Who cares? I mean, you know, they got the turret. They're going to spin it around. They're still going to be able to shoot at you. That's not very fun. You can't pin here because of the uh, sloped armor. Now, look at this. There's a couple other spots where they kind of bumped it up. See how that's vertical there? You can pin that, and then that's vertical there. You can pin that too. Driver's on the right. Machine gunner. So what does it mean? There's a machine gun. That means there's a guy back there. There he is. And then there's a viewport. It means there's a guy back there, so there's the driver. That just took out a whole bunch. But that vertical plate there, you got to look for those little things when you're looking at these tanks because that's going to make that's going to be spots that you can pin. Um, so basically along that whole line, you can get through there all the way. And what's interesting is, what does it mean when there's a door? We all know there's a door or a panel right there. There's some hinges. From the quartering shot, even from the quartering shot, we can still get a guy back there. Now, if we aim for that front edge, well, this is a little more centered, but this will probably, yeah, I mean, they'll still get those guys. So basically, if you go to the back of that door, it's not going to happen. Uh, those guys are offset. The driver's forward. The gunner is a little bit more back. Take that shot there. Like I said, everything in the back is wide open. You can get those engines from the very back, or everything from the side is wide open. From the back, you can take out that turret from that front edge get all three guys in there uh, from the front edge of that door and then remember the offset of the driver and the gunner here so we got the driver that time the gunner's a little farther back there so look for those vertical plates on the front and remember that vertical plate on the turret and you'll be all set and that is the lago one don't have as much trouble with it as i did when i was trying to figure this all out anyway hope the video helped Good luck, have fun, see you in the next one.